Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy Microsoft patches with SCCM. So how to deploy Microsoft monthly patches with SCCM. So now let's get look at the instruction here that I have. So here's a step-by-step -step instruction. First of all, you want to sync software updates. Second step, you want to search for current month updates. Third step, you want to create software update group. Fourth step, you want to download and create software package. And the last step, you want to deploy software updates. Now, let's sync software updates. You want to go to software library and you want to go to software updates and click on all software updates. You want to make sure you right click and then run sync software updates. The sync software updates will take a while to sync. So you can monitor the sync from monitoring and then software updates synchronizations status refresh your screen you're going to see it started to sync as you can see is the icon here is thinking you can also look at the log files Let's go to my SCCM folder under logs. It's WSync. It's WSync Manager. You wanna you can open this log, double click on it. And if you scroll all the way down, you should see the um, the transaction or the syncing process going so it's going to take some time to finish for now I'm going to pause the recording and we'll come back when it's 100% complete syncing All right, look like the syncing has been completed. Let's go back here and refresh. So it's green, that means you're ready to go. Now, let's take a look at the second step. What do we have to do here? You wanna search current month for software updates. Let's do that. You wanna go back to software library and then go to all software updates you want to click on save search and you want to click on manage search for current node you want to click on update release in the last month You can view by requires, so that means it's going to show the computers in your environment that require the updates. So if you look at the top here, I have this KB, which is required by eight machines for the November patches. So I'm going to download everything that is required. 
as you can see here there's one machine require this patch so what you need to do is click on the top the bottom one shift key and then click the top one it should highlight everything you want and you want to right click on it so it shows up here create software update groups so that's the third step the third the second step you search for the month and the third step you want to create software update groups so let's create software update groups since this is the month of December the early month of December but the second Tuesday of the patch has not been released yet but anyway I'm just gonna call this December patches I'm gonna call this 2019 December patches I'm going to click create so that's the third step the fourth step you want to download and create software package so what you need to do you have to come back here to software update groups and click on your 2019 December patches group that you just created as you can see date created here last date modify percent compliant zero deploy is no that means it's not been deployed download is no that means it, the package I mean the patches have not been downloaded so what you need to do is you want to right click and then download so it gives you two options one is to add the patches to the existing deployment package or you can create a new deployment package what I'm going to do is create a new deployment package I'm going to give it a name 2019 December December patches I want it to give the same name as the deployment groups or software update groups the path you can put it in the path where to download the patches I'm going to put it here under updates going to create a folder called 2019 December patches I'm going to copy this link and then I'm going to put it here and click next I do not need to check this box here enable binary differential replications to minimize the network traffic between site binary differential replication update only the contents that change that's fine this is a test environment if you in a real big environment you if you want to you can enable it so I'm going to click next you want to choose at least a distribution point I'm going to choose my one and only distribution point click OK click next everything here should be default distribution priority here's another option so when the content is not available specify whether you want to distribute the content to the distribution point that configure on demand distribution so you can enable this checkbox if your DP is configured on demand distribution point. That's, 
I'm not going to do that here and make sure and I have this manual copy contents. I'm going to click next. It's going to start downloading the software updates from the internet. And click next. You want to make sure everything looks correct here. The summary page. And then you want to click next. So now the download has been started and if you look at the the share folder that I just created it's downloading the contents so it is 7% completed All right, look like the download has been completed. I'm going to click close. Here's all the contents for my December patches. Let's look at the next step. The next step is we're going to deploy software updates. I'm going to my this screen. Let's go back to software update groups. So to deploy software update groups, you want to click on it and then right click and deploy. I'm going to call this the same name as my software update groups. I'm going to choose my test collection. I'll add the computer later, it shows zero. That's fine. You click OK. I'm going to click Next. It's going to be required. It's schedule evaluation. I'm going to choose local client local time as soon as possible. This is when the the, uh, the clients or the workstation started to download the contents or cache the contents to the cache folder. And if you deploy to a bunch of maybe thousands of computers, you want to make sure you specify um, after hours, just say 9 o'clock p.m. If you do this during business hour to 2, 3, 4, 5,000 at the same time, you might take down the network. So in this case, I'm going to make it as soon as possible since it's only my test environment. Installation deadline. This is when software start to to install also you want to specify time this is as soon as possible for now I'm going to click next user notification display in software center show all notification this can be annoying if you click on show all notifications there's three options available usually you choose the second options this is only notify when it's require a restart i'm going to click second options maintenance windows if you want to ignore maintenance window you can check any of these boxes deadline or service restart behavior if you want to suppress the reboot you can check the boxes that's fine software update deployment re-evaluation before a behavior upon restart I'm going to check this box. It's going to reevaluate to see if any other patch is required. I'm going to click next. The alerts. I'm just going to leave it the way it is now. I don't have I don't want to configure anything here. It should be fine. Download. So you want to make sure you check download software update from distribution point and install. Deployment options, you want to download and install. Here are two boxes available for you. 
if software updates are not available on distribution point in current neighbors neighbor site boundary group download you can check this box if you want to have the distribution point download from the um close the um neighbors of boundary groups or you can download from microsoft allow client to meter internet connection to download that's fine i'm going to click check both of them and click next now it's ready to go and it's ready to create the deployment click next all right that's it this to it i'm going to click close so this is it folks this is how you install software updates thank you for watching and if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day